Before we get into today's video, I want to thank our patrons on Patreon. Thank you to Linda and Sophia. Uh, if you would like to be a patron on Patreon as well, you can hit up the link down below. Uh, the money goes towards the Christo Pagan Church that we are starting here on YouTube. If you would like to support this channel in other ways, uh, you can do so by hitting up the eBay link down below. That is my business. It keeps lights on, keeps uh, the channel up and, and running, keeps food in my stomach and all that good stuff. Uh, if you do not have the funds to support this channel, but you would like to do so, you can hit up the subscribe button right down there. You can hit up the bell notification also right there. Uh, you can hit that like or dislike button. It all appeases the algorithmic gods of YouTube. All hail the algorithmic gods of YouTube. And if you've done all that, and if it is safe for you to do so, you can uh, consider sharing this on your social media platforms. Now, to today's video. Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Terror Talk Tuesday. This week, we are covering the Knight of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and get on into it with the pictorial key of the tarot by A.E. Waite, which reads, he rides a slow, enduring, heavy horse. That horse doesn't look too heavy, I, I guess, as far as horses go. It is a large horse, but it doesn't look like a heavy horse as far as horses go. Uh, to which his own aspect corresponds. Does that mean that this individual is a heavy individual or... in? that he's enduring i don't uh, his wording is very much uh needing to be uh modernized it's over 100 years old so i would expect antiquated language he exhibits his symbol the pentacle but does not look therein so he's actually looking past it which okay i can i can see that and there's probably something to be had there uh maybe we'll get into that here in a minute Divinatory meanings, utility, serviceableness, interest, responsibility, uh, rectitude, all on the normal and external plane. That's hopelessly vague. Uh, reversed, inertia, idleness, repose of that kind, stagnation, also placidity, Discouragement, carelessness. Okay, that's wonderfully vague. Okay, let's get on into uh, my notes here. Uh, the Knight of Pentacle represents work, effort, and the responsibility that follows upon the dreams and ideals of the page. You are working methodically towards your goals. You have a plan in place and are sticking to your schedule to get the job done. You're really, I, I mean, if you want to uh, go with how A.E. Waite said it here, you know, this enduring quality of the, uh, of the horse uh, or the enduring quality of the individual uh, kind of go hand in hand and you're really working towards your goals. Um, your dreams, your your aspirations here. Uh, asks It asks you to continue doing what you are doing, plodding along, and making gradual progress. Um, you know, even though this, this horse is not in motion, um, you know, they are still making progress. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe they're, they're uh, looking out upon where they are going to next. Um, you are a natural planner and implementer. You envision your goal, determine the best course of action, and then stick to the path with a methodical and relentless focus. Uh, his focus, again, is not necessarily on the pentacle. His focus is on the route ahead, uh, even though he has his pentacle at hand. Uh, something to keep in mind whenever you, you have this come up in a reading is that this person is focused on their goal. They, they are looking ahead at where they need to go, not uh, focus, focusing on the immediacy of what they have in their hand. What he's actually focused on is where, uh, where and what he is uh, going towards. Uh, it is essential that you 
Complete all assigned tasks and projects to a certain standard and that you follow through on your promises. Again, we have that endurance factor there. Uh, this points to the more mundane and boring aspects of life. You will be required to accept the responsibility without any complaints or grudges. Um, now, I, I have a, a little issue with accepting uh, anything that is required without... Uh, or the, the being required to accept responsibility without complaints or grudges. Because there are certain times um, within life that you actually need to say, no, this is a complaint that I have and it needs to be taken seriously. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of disagree with that. It suggests that you are uh, taking a, a moderated and conservative approach to life right now. Uh, and while you may be feeling that change is imminent, you are sticking to your t tried and tested ways of doing things. You have established that you need a routine and careful planning if you are to achieve your goals. And it invites you to keep it, keep at it and you will eventually see success. Again, we're talking about that endurance factor of, of this, uh, this Knight of Pentacles. The, uh, the endurance factor is one that is being hit home here. Whoops. Wrong way. Bear with me. Get that back. And... Where is it? Rotate. There we go. <laughs> In the reverse. I'm not even cutting any of that out. It encourages you to establish a schedule or routine for yourself and stick to it and until you have completed your assigned task, which isn't so much different than the uh, upright. It may also point to a, to a journey of self-development or improvement. This is uh, the inward focus rather than the outward focus of achieving your goals. This is uh, personal development rather than um, an external um, financial development or uh, business development of some sort. Uh, a career development of any of any type. Uh, you may also need to pay more attention to the practical matters in your life that you have ignored recently. So this would be again inward focusing, uh, focusing on what you need to focus on here um, in in the present, rather than looking forward at what is uh, about to occur or where you're heading to. So very much a a, a more inward focused of the outward uh, of the um, of the upright m uh, meaning in this. It might also suggest that you are feeling stuck in your daily grind and life has become boring and dull. Uh, sometimes whenever we get into the just the monotony of continuously working at something and doing something over and over and over it gets boring it gets uh you know it gets to be a daily grind and it can be quite daunting at times to just continuously plod along and get you know you're yeah you're getting things done but it, is it really fulfilling you uh so it may be time to do something different uh try to get out more and be open to new experiences uh, and this can also warn that you are becoming a perfectionist on, in how you approach your work um, so a couple things about that um, last point first and first point last on that on this is uh, being a perfectionist if you uh, if you recall I've said this before getting things done is better than you know things being done perfectly Sometimes, you know, you just have to just do what you got to do and get it done. Um, everything doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. There's always time to go back and redo if you need to. Uh, there's always an editing process. There's always a clarification that can be given. Uh, it's not too late until it is eventually too late. Um, one thing that comes to mind is you see this in politics all the time. Somebody will say something and, and the meaning is there and the intention is there. However, they, 
will have to come out and say, well, this th that's the way it came out wasn't exactly the way I meant it to sound. And for clarification purposes, this is what I meant by it. Um, and I've done that here on this channel, you know, certain things here and there, like, I don't think I've said anything blatantly racist and I never intend to or uh, sexist or, uh, you know, you pick your, uh, pick your poison there. But there's always a time for clarification um, or development and growth. Um, you know, I would expect more of that from from the political side and whatnot, uh, you have some people coming around saying, oh, I didn't, I, you know, we, we should have been taking taking this a lot more seriously. Yes, you should have, uh, especially if you're in, in, a, in a position of power. Um, you know, stuff like that. I, I have less uh, chance of giving them reprieve from their previous actions than to some somebody else who say they had a YouTube channel and they misspoke on something, I could definitely say, well, you're entitled to growing as a human being. I fully hope that people grow as human beings and develop and become better and better uh, human beings in general. But yeah, uh, th there is a thing to be said about things being done, uh, done well, maybe not perfect, but being done is better than being perfect because if you wait for everything to be perfect, it might never be done. Uh, next point was uh, try to get get out and be more open to new experiences. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, that is something that I uh, really would like to implement more in my life. Um, now, my my husband and I were we're pretty cloistered individuals. Um, we, you know, we do enjoy our time at home and, you know, resting and relaxing and spending time with one another. But I, I've even told him, I said, you know what, let's, um, I, I have a, a card deck of like cheap dates and, and everything. I said, you know what, once I find this card deck, I said, we'll pull one out, we'll have a date night and we'll, we'll just do whatever the card says. You know, if it says go out to the park and have a picnic, we'll go out and have a picnic, something of that nature. Uh, you know, that they're cheap little dates that can actually inspire, you know, a nice little story or something like that. Sometimes the best stories that you ever have are the ones that kind of happened a little bit out, out of uh, serendipity or just happenstance of the moment. Um, one story that I have, and this will be a short one, is uh, we were driving along. It was my, me and uh, I think two other friends, I think, were in the car. Maybe three. But anyway, we were in the car, and we're driving along, and my friend's like, oh, well, we're trying to get back to her, her house to drop her off. She's like, well, we can take this this road over here and you know I I think this was before GPS or before I had a GPS and I'm like okay well you know you live around here you know these roads better than I do and because I didn't get a license until like right before I went into the Air Force and then you know by the time I was coming back I didn't remember any of the roads so I said okay well you know these roads better than I do let's go and I took that road and then we kept on driving and driving and driving and we got lost and ever since then it's been a uh a little uh what you call it a a, a little story or a, a little laugh that we, an inside joke that we have with one another you know oh we're gonna just end up in cadogan which is a small town in pennsylvania and we're like how did we end up here we didn't intend to come here and here we were, but we ended up finding our, our way back. Uh, once, you know, I found a familiar site, I'm like, I know where I'm at, let me go. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's, it makes for a good, a good time. We laughed, we carried on, we, we had a nice night, um, nobody was hurt. And, uh, yeah, it, it was a, it's a good story that uh, ends up being an inside joke. So, sometimes you end up with those types of stories from having... Uh, new and different experiences. So, 
yeah, it, just a, a little little suggestion. Uh, I think you can find like a deck of cards like that on uh, probably on Amazon. I, I wouldn't see why not. Uh, it, similar to the the table topics cube, you know, there are ones similar to that where they just give you cheap dates. And there's ones that I'm sure you can do with with just friends if you don't have a significant other and whatnot. So yeah, I would encourage people to go out and uh, and and try to get one of those uh, decks to to see what type of stories that that uh, incites. So, but that's all that I have for this week. Uh, for the Knight of Pentacles. Until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.